Hey guys, this is Matt coming at you from Razzle's Rod Shop. This is the final video for the Chevy Cheeseburger Tribute Build. Um, somebody has brought to my attention that I'm due for a video. So here it is. I've been meaning to do this anyways. Um, this is the 56 Chevy Del Rey, uh, the California Wheels Edition. Uh, if you saw my last video, you'll see I started with the with it is I was going for the shiny brand new um, yeah well it's been a while since I've done a video I guess uh, anyways went for the shiny new cruising machine car show uh, didn't like the paint so I stripped it and went with something I know a little better but what I've done these are not the wheels that come with the kit. These are out of the SSR kit. Um, that and the motor are about the only two things I found that are worthwhile on that kit. Uh, these are a little wider and a little bit taller than the ones that come with the kit. Uh, and they just give the car a much better, better look and a better stance. Uh, of course, I did have to... I lowered the front end... Uh, so we can get them in there. Had to clean the fender wells. Uh, if you see, uh, I went with the, you know, this is the Survivor Edition. This is your, ooh, look, I can go forward this one. It's a good starter car. Uh, I think uh, it turned out pretty good. A little weather under it. I decided not to put any, any chalks or anything on it, just to, just to do a little bit of the rust. Uh, I don't know if it'll show up. Uh, it's kind of hard to pick out, in the, even with the camera. Good little cracks in the in the glass. And you always gotta get it just right. They're kind of hard to see. Little cracks in the wing windows, which you'd see on most of them. Um, I did do some photo etch. Uh, on the uh, valve cover cap I uh, got the photo etch uh, cap on the radiator uh, got the distributor parts by parks uh, I was gonna do wire looms but I just do not have patience for photo etch I don't know if I need better precision tweezers or I just need better patience I this is the second one I've done, the third one I've done, putting little photo etch stuff on it, it just drives me batty. Uh, I did decide that I put the bumper on, and it, it looks hideous with a bumper. Uh, like the front bumper on this 56 just looks humongous, and it really didn't fit the, the style that I was going for. Uh, but this is definitely something I could see, you know, chip run, run across down the road and go, wow, that's a decent car. That's a, make a nice starter car. Uh, it's got a decent interior with a, it's kind of a, it's supposed to be silver, but if you put it over white, it's, it turns out to be pearl white uh, interior instead of silver uh, with some gray black inlays in the seats. But it turned out pretty good. I'm really impressed with it. Took it to a show this weekend and put it in the classics class. Uh, and I did not expect it to do what it did in the classics. And I believe it was a third place. So uh, there's a little extra bonus. But that's the Chevy Cheeseburger Tribute build final. Excuse me while I close the hood. But it's done. Mark another one off. Uh, I really like this car. It turned out really good. Uh, I did put the foil on it. Uh, I don't know if you could tell on the video, but I, I did take doll coat. I dolled up the foil so it's not bright and shiny chrome. Uh, I did that with all the chrome. And there's a little bit of weather on the front grill, the rear bumper, the tail lights. Yeah, it's 
it's not showroom, but it's not rusted completely out where you gotta put it on a flatbed to haul it around. You could drive it, enjoy it, and that that was what I was after on this one. Uh, I'll slap a slideshow up uh, after the video, so uh, you guys can all get a better look at it with pictures. That's it. It's all set. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, I got a couple more videos coming at you. Uh, just have to get them made. Thanks, guys.